In this lesson, we're going to look at how to evaluate functions of several variables. Uh, before we look at some specific examples, uh, we're going to, I'm going to talk a little bit about the definition. And you can see the definitions there. See, so basically, you have uh, if you have a function of n variables that assigns to each input of n order inputs, the that inputs is called an n tuple. If that's getting assigned to exactly one output, then that function is is basically is called a function of several variables. So, for example, let's say let's say we have z is equal to f of x y. So, this is actually a, a function of two two variables. Okay, so you have two variables that's feeding into z. Okay, so schematically, it would look something like this. You would have one set here, so let this be a set called X. And you have another set, let's call this Y. Okay. And these are actually feeding into, okay, these are going to feed into whatever the function is. That's being defined. So that is, so the output that you get from here, okay, the output from this set will be z, okay. So it's very similar to a function of one variable, but in, the, in this case, we're working with several variables, okay. So if you have two inputs, like the one you see here, that's going to be a function of two variables. If you have three inputs, that's going to be a function of three variables, and so on. Okay, so let's look at a, an example of this. Okay. Let's say you're given, okay, f of xy equals to x squared plus 2xy. And we want to find f of 2, negative 1. Okay. So here, okay, remember this is your, these, these are for your inputs. Okay, so this is acting as x, or this belongs to x, and this is y value. So we want to find for these inputs x and y we want to find out what is z so we can do that just by evaluating this expression for x and y so this is going to be f of 2 negative 1 equals to 2 squared plus 2 times 2 times negative 1 okay so from here okay we end up getting 4, okay, minus 4, which is 0. Okay, so therefore, okay, therefore f of 2, negative 1 is, is 0. So then we can think of this as, as a triple coordinate. So you have 2, negative 1, and 0. Okay, so that means, okay, our inputs, for the inputs 2 and negative 1, they're going to get mapped to 0. And later we'll talk about how to plot this in three dimensions. Okay.